Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about how to reverse Crohn's, irritable bowel syndrome, diverticulitis, and other bowel problems. So they're all clumped together. When you look at it holistically, naturally, they're all, they're, they're all clumped together. Now medically, what will happen is they'll see inflammation in one section of the bowel and it looks a certain way under a microscope, so they give it a name. There could be other inflammation elsewhere that looks different, and they give that another name. Okay, um, Diverticulitis is a breakdown of the intestinal wall, and it kind of balloons out, and you get infection in there. Um, but the whole point is, it's a dis there's a dysfunction of the intestines, resulting in symptoms, specifically uh, diarrhea, loose bowels, and sometimes alternating constipation, diarrhea, and then pain, cramping, uh, that kind of stuff. So here's the causes for this. Parasites, number one, number one, parasites, parasites, parasites. Now, um, we find parasites all the time in our office. Uh, we got um, seven other practitioners that work here. We do a fantastic technique that's biofeedback, so the body's telling us what it has, what's wrong with it, and how to fix it. And it tells us parasites a lot. So we've had oh, hundreds of people get rid of worms. Or um, we had a you know woman with, um, looked like an insect. I have a whole parasite video. You can go check it out. But um, I, one time I had a guy come in and uh, he had a garden. And he would juice the vegetables. He said his Crohn's started after he ate the cauliflower from his garden that he juiced. He juiced the cauliflower. And I said, well, what was wrong with it? And he goes, well, maybe it looked like an animal had taken a few bites out of it. And I said, what? Like, you ate it? What kind of animal was it? And he said, oh, it was probably like a groundhog. And so some, some bacteria or parasites from the groundhog went into the cauliflower and he ate it and from that day had diarrhea. So he, we had one year together, and he, his goal was to move um, to actually to Saudi Arabia to teach English as a second language. And he wasn't sure if he was going to make it, but after about nine months or ten months, he was good, and he actually moved um, overseas. So we had success there. Um, but yeah, we found parasites, and um, actually now we have an employee with uh, bad um, intestinal problems. And I found parasites about three, four weeks ago, and within a few days she eliminated a parasite, and now she feels, she said, 30 to 40 percent better, which is, you know, and we're starting, this is new that we found parasites with her, there's going to be more. All right, and number two is gluten and sugar. The problem with gluten now is that there's a chemical that farmers use that make our bodies more and more sensitive to gluten. That chemical is called glyphosate. It's in the product called Roundup. It's in other products too. It's, a, it's an herbicide. So farmers use it, they spray it, and um, that chemical makes our body more sensitive to gluten. Like 75 years ago, nobody was sensitive. Even 30 years ago, nobody was sensitive to gluten. Now it's a lot of people. So sugar causes inflammation. Sugar causes a breakdown of the tissues. That's a problem with um, colon problems. That causes colon problems. And it's a huge cause for colon cancer. Okay, number three, pituitary or other, or some other organ dysfunction. So the pituitary is the master gland, and it plays a role in how the liver works, the stomach, uh, the pancreas. And I have a video on this, on the relationships of the endocrine organs. And that's where you can go now to like check that out. So, um... And the need for iodomere, this is a word, this is a supplement from our favorite uh, supplement company called Standard Process. Now here's the relationship. Okay, the pituitary has some control, I'm sorry, the, th the thyroid has some control over how the kidneys are functioning. Now in this relationship with iodomere, it has nutrients for the thyroid that fix the control over the kidneys. Now, the kidneys are so dysfunctional in this instance that they will not process urine. 
So the urine gets shunted up and into the bowels. Okay, this is, it happens to a few people. I've only seen this maybe, I don't know, 10 or 20 times in, in uh, 10 years or, or 12 years. So now you have urine in the bowels and the pH is off and the bowels dump the urine. That's diarrhea. And then for the next day, there's nothing in the bowels and that's constipation. So it alternates constipation, diarrhea, constipation, diarrhea. And that's because the kidneys aren't functioning well, not processing urine, because the thyroid is not functioning well, deficient in the nutrients that are found in iodomer. This is a fantastic um, datum right here. So in the, in the worst cases, these people that need this don't urinate. All their urine leaves through their bowels. So um, it's pretty dramatic, it's pretty drastic. Okay, now it's rare. So if you think you have it, look into it, contact us, and we can discuss this. Um, but otherwise, chances are you have a parasite. <laughs> so check out our parasite video.